It's Sarah Lowe. We're going to be taking a look at how to adjust a photo in iMovie. Uh, as you can see, if I click play, the books are kind of cut out. I would like to, you know, adjust the way that the um, photo is moving, and that's called Ken Burns. So I'm going to click on our picture. And in the top, uh, you can see position to start, position to end. Um, and I got this toolbar by clicking actions in the bottom left corner. If I was on titles, I could you know, write a title or change the filter of my picture. Um, but I want to do the actions button right there. So pinched where I wanted to start. And the reason that's showing up is because I'm at the beginning of my clip. So as I clicked, pinched to where I wanted to start. So I want my books to be the highlight. Then I can go and click on this end arrow and it goes to the end. And let's say, yeah, I want it to zoom in on the quote. So it's going to give us the books and our quote. So now I have that enabled and let's take a look. It zooms in and goes right into our quote. Let's say, you know, I thought that was way too short. I really didn't get a good look. If you hold on to that clip and you pull it, then that's going to give us uh, a little bit longer of a chance to view what the titles are and then make our way down to our quote and actually have enough time to read it. Uh, you can hear that there's a little noise after my picture and that is this transition and I have sound effects on. So if I wanted a sound effect off, I would click that. I can adjust how long I want my transition to happen, longer or shorter. I can make it um, to match my theme, which is playful right now. I can dissolve it, slide. Those are our options for our transitions. Or, of course, you can hit none. Um, so I would like it to dissolve into the next screen. Uh, so that's how you can adjust your picture to look fantastic.